everyone, it's great to see you here once again on Dee's Delights. Today we are going to be making Sloppy Joe Potato Skillet. I don't know about you, but I like Sloppy Joes, I like potatoes, and I like the idea that I can do it all in a skillet. Makes it a lot easier. So, what you're going to need for this recipe though is a large skillet, one air fryer, and one oven. So let's go ahead and get the ingredients all ready. First, what you're going to want to do is peel, wash the potatoes, and then cut them up into cubes. My onion's about nine ounces, so I'm going to cut that in half and use about four and a half ounces of onion. It doesn't say what size onion, just an onion. So you're going to have to guesstimate whichever works best for you. I got my five potatoes. They range anywhere from five, five and a half ounces. So I'm going to use five. So now we'll get our onions ready, our potatoes. Now you're not going to want your chunks of potatoes to be too big because you're going to want them to get done pretty quickly in the air fryer. We're going to toss the potatoes with olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and paprika. Okay, so next, let's put our potatoes in a bowl with a lid. I'm going to shake them around. A couple tablespoons of olive oil. A little salt, pepper, garlic powder, and paprika. Just a little bit this time. You, you do what you want. I have the other seasonings measured out. A little garlic powder. Ooh, that was a lot, folks. A little salt and pepper. Okay, I got those mixed around really good. Now they're going into the air fryer for about 20 minutes and you're going to shake them around a few times. Have you ever made frozen french fries in the air fryer? All you have to do is shake them every so often. You're going to do it at 400 degrees. So I'm going to pop these in the air fryer. So I'll probably toss them about every five minutes or so. Break that up. I'm going to cook it over about 325, somewhere in there, 325, 350, we'll see. I'll cook those for a little bit before I put my onions in. And then I'll sprinkle all the seasonings here shortly too. All right, let's go ahead and put our onions in. I'll mix that up a little bit before I put the seasonings in. There's a pepper. One tablespoon of minced garlic. I'm going to use one teaspoon dried minced garlic and one teaspoon onion powder and one teaspoon of paprika. Now let's go ahead and add our tomato sauce, which was one cup, eight ounces, or Worcestershire. I have one tablespoon. You can do one to two tablespoons. Our quarter cup of ketchup. And our two tablespoons of barbecue sauce. I am using sweet baby rays, hickory and brown sugar. Let's just mix that around. We're gonna simmer this for a little while. Simmer that for about five minutes. All right, you'll want to test your potatoes. They should be nice and crispy brown. What we'll do is we'll add this, stir them in, and then what I'm going to do is put some shredded cheddar on top once it's all mixed in. Cover it up for a few minutes. Keep it on warm. That way the cheese will melt. Put your four ounces of cheese, which is a cup, put that on top. 
Now, if you want a little more cheese, go ahead, put a little more cheese on top. Okay, I'm gonna cover it up for a few moments. See you shortly. Now, the moment of truth. Doug will have to try this when he gets home. He is out plowing snow. Oh my gosh, this looks heavenly. Perfect. Cover it up and I'll keep it warm for Doug. Now this says this is enough for four people. Could be more, but depends on how much you like. That's good. That's good, folks. I can taste a little bit of that barbecue sauce in there. The potatoes, the 20 minutes was sufficient. That was good. Just remember to toss them every five minutes or so. I'll get Doug's opinion when he gets home. But yeah, I think you'll like it. It was easy, too. So I hope you all enjoy your Sloppy Joe potato skillet, and I hope you have a fabulous day, and I'll see you real soon.